Thank you. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Lagos State, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Lagos State, the Chairman, Silverbird Group, Dr. Akim Mayadeshimo, President ADB, my brother, Your Excellency, former Governor of Oakland State, this evening, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, my ex-governor, Donald Duke, and personal friend. Uh, sincerely, this award came to me by surprise um, as a banker. We believe that we continue to serve, and at times we're a little bit shy when we are brought up in this manner. But my brother, my younger junior brother, Senator Maury ben, ben Bruce, is someone that I can never, never refuse, particularly when I know the brand that he's coming from. Silverbird has come to represent, it symbolizes what is good in us. Since its inception, it has been the symbol for promoting what I call Nigeria's indigenous capacity development across our socioeconomic landscape. It has single-handedly fought various fights, but most importantly, most of you know that when it comes to entertainment, responsible journalism, or just sheer dogged fight, for Nigeria's emergence in the global landscape. That is Silverbird. And I'm proud of your accomplishments. And therefore, this award I don't take lightly. I'm deeply grateful. I thank you on behalf of my family and my friends who have stood with me through the years, through thick and thin, for this great award. I'm particularly pleased to be here today to have to listen to Dr. Adesino and also to you, Senator Murray Bruce, because your messages resonate and they have been the pillar of my work that is being recognized today. I returned back to this country in 1980. I had all the best education the world could have, a Harvard MBA. Working in Citibank, Chase. So I was well equipped. I got back and within first year, the federal government appointed me to become deputy managing director of IMB. I was shocked because I didn't believe that the government could just appoint you without even referring to for asking for your approval. So Chase said, come back to the US. We cannot accept government, um, what do you call arrogance. I went up to see Dr. Ekweme, the vice president of this country at that time. And I was sure that he was going to accept me because we are all King's College boys. So I thought he would, I would convince him that I should go back to the US. After two hours, my head was so big. He said I was going to save Nigeria. 
I was going to do this and all that. I didn't know what Nigeria was all about. But anyway, the sum total is that I was so <sighs> I was so pleased with his recognition of what I could do. So I accepted. When I now got to the bank, I found that we had a real task ahead. Because at that time, Nigeria had just privatized or what well, Nigerianized all the banks, all the foreign banks, and we are keen to get Nigeria to begin to develop our capital markets and begin to have our banks respond to our developmental needs. So here I was, I was 34 years old, and I was saddled with running a merchant bank. And why I refer to the speeches today is that they kept talking about the young talent. I was very fortunate to inherit in IMB a young crop of Nigerians. But I saw that we were not complete. So I went around the world and recruited several young MBAs, ex-bankers, and brought them back home. And that team today, as you know, have given birth to what you consider modern day banking. I was also fortunate that after my sojourn in IMB, I founded All States Trust Bank. And there too, I was fortunate to have young, bright Nigerians working with me. So some total is this. The message of Dr. Adeshina, message of Senator Murray Bruce, is that we must begin to look at talent we must begin to gather young persons who will be able to come together to form a critical mass to develop our institutions, our industry. I'm standing here today because of the success of all these young ones, not because of me. And you know them. Today, out of the 10 richest Nigerians, three, or four came from these institutions. <laughs> Nigeria has such talent, it's unbelievable. So I stand on the shoes, I mean, the, the message of Dr. Adeshina. Anything we do, bring these young ones together. Give them a chance. Tribalism will not get us anywhere. Go out of your way to gather yourselves to form a critical mass, because you need that critical mass. We are lucky in IMB we had that critical mass. Today they have exploded to something incredible. And what, it was not just in banking. Even in the oil and gas sector, there are giants from the same roots. When you develop these young talents, it's amazing what can happen. And it's not just me reinventing that wheel. It's been stated here by Dr. Additional. Murray Bruce has been speaking about it. And even in the US, when I was in the Harvard, at the Harvard Business School, one of the case studies we had was in regards to what they call the Star Wars. Robert McNamara, he was the Secretary of Defense, went around and recruited 50 graduates from the best schools, put them together, and charged them with developing Star Wars to crack the Soviet US world, the dichotomy in nuclear war, war, the Cold War. So, ladies and gentlemen, I won't bore you with all this, but the message has been stated here. Please give the youth a chance. Gather them to get them together, give them a chance to form a critical mass in any institution. And you'll be amazed. They will do the work. I've been blessed with having played a small role in the banking sector, but it was due to these young, brilliant Nigerians who are today now leaders in the banking sector, leaders in industry, and some of them are now moving into agriculture. So, once again, Silverbird, thank you for this great honor. To me and my family,
and all my friends that are here today. It's a great privilege. It's not lost on me. I pray that you continue to shine. You continue to bring out the best amongst us through the awards program. But as a last gesture, I wish to dedicate this award to those, my former staff from IMB and also Trust Bank, who have made me what I am today. Thank you. Thank you, sir.